Hey everybody, this is Daxon here with Noxat.org. Um, first off, I assume you're going to be coming to this video because you are not very familiar with App Inventor. In this case, we are on um, MIT's App Inventor 2 Beta. Um, this is going to be the first tutorial in a series of videos. Um, in this one, I'm going to be talking about basically how to start a new project, a new app. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, buttons and maybe a little bit about images. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is go to appinventor.mit.edu. This is the website you'll go to. And then from there you will log in with your Gmail account. It doesn't matter which one you use. Do keep in mind whatever Gmail account you, you um, log into, you want to, you know, some people have more than one, but if you only have one, you know, that's perfect. But say if you come on here and you're signed in with one email and you start saving projects and apps, you're going to want to log in with that same email into uh, App Inventor um, if you ever want to find those projects again and be able to edit them or save them or whatever you want to do. So anyway, once you get that open and get signed in, you'll have something that looks like this, only but you won't have all these projects. Um, but you'll come up here to the top left corner and you'll see start new project so that's where we're going to start here you click that and you can make an app name so um, you can name it whatever you want um, we'll just call that button since that's what we're going to be talking about and it may take a few seconds and you will have app inventor fully loaded ready to go so going over a few of the basics here this is your display. This is the design, the designer screen. As you can see, we are on. Um, this is kind of what your app's going to look like. This is like the visual side of everything. And then if we come over to the blocks, this is, I guess you would call it more of like the coding side, except you don't really need to know how to code because it's basically already done for you. You just got to know how to basically put the blocks together. It's like, little blocks of code is I guess the best way to explain it and you'll put them together anyway this is your basic now let's go over a few of the basic things um, like right here we have this called screen one typically in an app you're not gonna wanna have a name there or at least I don't so over here when we have the screen one under components highlighted you'll see all of your properties of this screen of your app Okay, so don't let this get too overwhelming when you see all this because we can go over all of this and uh, you'll be you'll be making uh, your first basic app within an hour. I actually spent a long time, I've been using uh, App Inventor ever since it first came around um, and basically had to end up teaching myself a lot so I figured I might as well um, give back to everybody and and teach everybody what I know and try to make it as simple as possible so that's my goal. Anyway, you'll have over here on your properties for this screen that we have selected. <clears throat> and when you get further down the road, you can make more screens for different reasons. But you'll have how you want things aligned. You have your app name, which we already created. You have your background color, which you can just um, select whatever you want. Let's make it black in this case. So all you got to do is click background color and then make it black. You can also add your own image, upload a file, and make a background image. Um, when someone exits out of your app or closes this, this specific screen, you can make it fade away, zoom, slide off, uh, and so on. Now, your icon. This is something that is very, very important. Um, you're going to want to have one every single app, no matter if you publish it to Google Play, the Amazon App Store, and so on. You're going to want to have an icon, because that's what will show on uh, the person's um, Android phone or their tablet when they actually have the app downloaded. This isn't necessarily the icon that will show on the app store, but this is what it will show when the app is on their device. Um, you have your open screen animation, same thing as the close, only but it's when people open the app. And then you have the orientation. The orientation, typically I'll select portrait, so that way if someone tilts their phone to the side it's not going to make, say, for example, buttons get all messy or anything. We if they tip their phone sideways, the buttons are still going to say up and down. So basically, we're making them hold their phone up and down to be able to use the app. Uh, we can make it scrollable or not. If we want to have uh, 
say if we wanted a bunch of pictures of dogs on this app um, you can make it to where they can scroll so if you're gonna have say 30 pictures of dogs you definitely want scrollable clicked um, so that'll allow the user to scroll if that's not clicked then they're not gonna be able to scroll and they might only be able to see the first you know one two or you know a few images and not the rest so that's definitely important and then you got your status bar you can turn that on or off the fixed size of a screen now that means it's for like a phone or a tablet do we want it to stay the specific size or do we want them to be able to use it on different screen sizes so you can speak pick res, um, responsive if you're going to have a very high resolution when you make your um, say button images and uh, other things like that anyway I was talking about a little bit ago our title right here which is called screen one I always just delete that because I don't see any reason to have that uh, label there so I'll just remove it and you can see it went bye bye or you can just uncheck that and it'll make it not visible now your version code and version name starting off this is not going to matter to you okay now when you say first make your first app and you publish it to the google play store for example or the amazon app store this means this is the first version of this app so then you would you could just basically change that to say for example two and then 1.1 so then when you upload the new per the new version to Google Play uh, it'll recognize that this is the basically the second version you know 1.1 of the app and it'll allow everybody that already has your app to get the updated version so that's something to keep in mind down the road overall that's the basics for the property screen and of course if you ever just want to upload media say all at once your images audio and so on you just click upload file right here but uh, the main reason for this video is just to kind of give you an overview and also I'm going to show you how you can use a button to do something in this app. So basically over here on the left side you have all types of cool things. You have user interface, your layout, media, all types of stuff. But we're just going to stick with the user interface. Up here at top you will see button. So we're going to start with button. Take your button and you can just simply drag it over here into your app screen now the buttons on the left side I don't really like how that looks so what can we do about that come back over here and we can see our components because now we have screen one and inside of the screen one we have button one okay so once we have that selected let's rename this button to um, trying to think what we can make this button do let's make this button um, show text that we want it to show that that's something that should be pretty simple so we'll just call it um, show text don't think it allows you to have spaces in there so we'll just keep it together and now you can see our button is called show text now there are let's say our fonts a little bit too small let's make it right here under the font size for the button we'll change that to 20 okay we leave our background color at the default color um, you can bold your font, you can italicize your font, you can change the height and width. Also you can make an image um, for your button. So say if we wanted to make an image for this button, um, we would make it say um, 250 width pixels by 100 height in pixels. Okay. But we, like I said, we want to center this. So let's go ahead and let's see where it's at here. All right, we'll go to our screen, and then we should be able to go under the align horizontal and center it. And voila, our button is now centered. So that's that's our first big step. Okay. Now I'm running out of time here for this video. Um, so check out the next video I'm going to be making and we'll, and we'll go ahead and uh, get through the rest of this of what we're going to do with the button. So see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. See you later.